Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Football and welcome to another episode of The Prediction Show. March week 23 is here, it's we obviously past the middle of the season, just a few months to go, four months until the end of the season. And with me this time around is Marty from GGMU TV. I've had three people from GGMU TV before, that's Ruben Test and um, James. James absolutely demolished me in one of the weeks. I demolished um, Ruben in return and uh, I beat Test just um, by one point. So let's hope I can also add Marty to the casualty list from GGMU TV. How are you, man? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I am doing very, very good. So 10 games um, to predict this week. Um, there's one game that has been added on, but that will be like two weeks from now. So you're going to predict the 10 games. As usual, you get three points for predicting the correct result, one point for predicting the correct score, and obviously no points um, if you don't get it right. And at the end, we usually do have bonus questions. So currently I am losing 10-8. The experts have 10, I have 8, and there's been two draws so so let's see how much it does um, this week. The first game of the week is going to be Watford against Norwich. That will be played on Friday night. What do you expect in this game? This is a big one, Marty. I think the one who loses here is gone. I think for both teams, it's a tough game because both of them are in a relegation fight. And to get three points in this game for both teams is equally vital as one another. And I think Watford need to try and pull themselves out of the relegation mm -hmm. zone and... Uh, Norwich really need to go on a run to pull themselves away. But for teams within the quality of the squad, it's not, they don't have the best squad depth. And I'm, I, but personally, for this game, I'm going 2 1 Watford. I'm going to match your scores. That's the same thing I've been thinking the whole week. I think Watford will get a win. Watford have not kept a clean sheet the entire season. That is just crazy. We're in almost February right now. Norwich could obviously get something. They need to get something if they're going to survive. But I'm going to match your score. Watford 2, Norwich 1. The second game, the first game of Saturday is Everton against Aston Villa. Marty would know how good Aston Villa is since they played them last time. Us, what do you expect in this? Continue to keep the run going. I mean, Aston Villa, they brought in Stephen Gerrard. They've obviously made some very solid signings. Luca Dina, they've actually brought in from Everton. And Filippo Coutinho, um, who they've returned to the club. And he's made an appearance in the Premier League for the first time since 2017. So I think Aston Villa are really growing as a squad. And against Everton, I think Everton are really, they're in a bit of bother at the minute. And they've lost, they've lost Rafa Benitez. And by, just, that's why I think Aston Villa, I think I can only see him winning this 3-1. I'm going to match your um, score, not score, like in terms of how many goals Aston Villa will score, but I think Everton will get two. So I'm going to go for Everton two, Aston Villa three. Um, um, a very, very interesting game, high scoring game. Hopefully it is like that so that we do enjoy our like um, first game of Saturday. The next game is actually you guys, uh, Manchester United against West Ham. I think last season you went, uh, they came to your place and you beat them by one goal to nil. I think it was an on goal or something like that. Big, big game for top four, both teams. Um, uh, fighting for top four. Do you expect uh, United to pick up the win or West Ham to do something at Old Trafford? I mean, West Ham are definitely a team that can pop up and surprise you. And they are a very good team and they do have a lot of quality within the team. I think what Manchester United need to do is keep it solid and keep the game flowing. And in order to do that, I feel like we will come out with three points. I'm going to say 2-1 to Man United. 2-1 to Man United. Very, very possible. But I've just had rumours that Ronaldo could miss out in the game. And uh, if he does, I'm going to go for 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to go for United 2, West Ham 2. I think West Ham are so full of goals. You never know which West Ham will turn up. They could go and lose to Leeds like they did last time. They could go and smash uh, Norwich by 3 or 4. I already played them two season, two times this season. Uh, United, I think, in the Carabao Cup and in the league. You beat them once, uh, they beat you the other time. So I'm going to go for a 2-2. The next game on Saturday, at the same time with the United game, is going to be Brentford against um, Wolves. I think they met very early on in the season. Brentford uh, played United the other day. You absolutely smashed them. Liverpool did the same as well the past weekend. And Wolves are very good uh, in terms of defence especially. Do you expect them to get a win here? Yeah, Wolves, they do have a bit of a goal drought. and But the defence is also very solid. Brentford are a team who have come up from the championship and they're doing well. And I think this is actually going to be a tight game, but in the end, I think it's going to be 2-1 Wolves. 2-1 Wolves. Um, I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for Brentford 1, Wolves 1. Wolves just never concede goals. So I wouldn't even be surprised if they kept a clean sheet. I think they've only conceded more than two goals in a game. I think 
twice or something this season. That is just crazy. Um, the next um, game will be at the same time as well, Leeds against Newcastle. Leeds recently have picked, uh, picked it up, but Newcastle, as uh, Marty said earlier about um, Everton being in some bother, Newcastle are definitely in some bother. Do you expect them to win here and uh, do you expect them to stay up this season? Uh, for Newcastle, obviously, they've had a new ownership they've brought in place, such as Kieran Trippier. But still, Newcastle as a squad, they're, they're trying everything they can, but for me, it's just not working. And Leeds are teams so that have had a good first season in the Premier League, but now they've come into their second season and they are finding it a bit more tricky. And I think the standards have gone up. But for this game, I think Leeds are going to win it 2-1. So one, I can't see Newcastle scoring. I'm going to go for Leeds three. Newcastle nil. A high scoring uh, win for them. High, very very good game for them. Um, you've gone far, uh, fast for the first five games. I'm going to go fast for the next five. Um, Southampton against Manchester City will be the last kickoff on um Saturday. City have just been relentless. That and every season they do this. They go like on a 15 winning, uh, run 15 game winning run, and they do it every single season and effortlessly as well so i can see them winning um maybe a word prowse free kick or something so i'm going to go for city three southampton one how about you i mean city are relentless they obviously keep it going they keep pushing at the top of the table and right now they look unstoppable with the amount of players in their squad that can deliver your three points it's huge obviously southampton they've got war prowse a really good free kick taker but i really can't see southampton having much possession i think the game's going to be dominated by man city and i think man city will win three nil Three nil, no goals at all for Southampton. The next game will be uh, Crystal Palace against um, Liverpool. Liverpool obviously um, get into the Carabao Cup final um, on Thursday. Crystal Palace have been okay under Vieira, uh, but I cannot see them winning here. So I'm going to go for Crystal Palace one, Liverpool two. Um, a tight game, not easy for Liverpool since they don't have the likes of Salah Mane back, but two one. How about you? I think. It's pretty similar to the City game. I feel like Liverpool will dominate and I think they're going to win 3-0. 3-0, same. Okay, interesting. Um, that should be so comfortable for Liverpool. At the same time, we'll have Leicester and Brighton. Now, whatever happened to Leicester against Tottenham, I have no idea. Um, I think that will affect them. I think Brighton have looked very good. They picked up a draw against Chelsea the other day. Um, I'm going to go for Leicester 2, Brighton 2. Uh, do you think the Leicester results against Tottenham will affect them in this one? I feel like, yeah, the confidence will be affected, obviously, just losing three points in the flash of two minutes. It, it can go downhill. And Brighton, they've equaled Chelsea on points. And for this score prediction, I, I just agree with you. And I think it's going to be 2-2. I think both teams are doing well. And they're going to try and match each other. Their defence is a shambles. Leicester, very, very bad. Um, same time will be Arsenal against uh, Burnley. Burnley have not played a game for like um, four years now. They've been postponing game after game after game after game. And obviously for Arsenal as well, they didn't play the last Premier League game. It was also postponed. Um, surely Arsenal will win this one. Um, I'm going to go for Arsenal 3, Burnley 1. I think Burnley are a team that like to stop and start the game. And I think with Arsenal's, like the way they like to play it swift and they like to pass it around and Obviously, with all the young players coming through, I feel like Arsenal are going to win this 2 0. 3 0? 2 2 0. 2 0. Okay, yeah, that is very possible. I wanted to go for that, but I, I can see Burnley scoring from a corner or something. So I'm going for 3 1. And then the last game of the day of the weekend is the big one Chelsea against Tottenham. Now, we only say it's a big one, but Chelsea usually win it like nine times after 10. Home in the way, Chelsea usually dominate it. And I think um, Chelsea having a few problems with Lukaku and everything. I would try and setting up the formation, but I, I can see them winning this one. Um, Tottenham obviously scoring two goals in the 97th minute. They will get a goal here, but I'm going to go for 3-2 to Chelsea. I think it's going to be 2-1 to Chelsea. I think to, as long as Tottenham, they're going to try and carry it on. But in this game, I feel like Chelsea are going to be too much from it. I can only see him scoring from like a Harry Kane penalty or something. And then I feel like Chelsea are going to be too good for them. Dominant possession. Awesome. So those are your 10 predictions. Um, next up is the bonus question. So in case we've drawn here, these questions would definitely help, Marty. Um, the first one is one player to definitely score from those 10 fixtures. I'll let you go first. We have Everton against Aston Villa, Watford, Norwich, United, West Ham, Brentford, Wolves, Leeds, Newcastle, Southampton City, Arsenal, Burnley, Palace, Liverpool, Leicester, Brighton, Chelsea, Tottenham. 
I think I'm going to go for it in your game, the Arsenal game. I think Lacazette's going to score. Lacazette to score. I am going to go for Southampton versus Man City. I am going to go for De Bruyne to score again. He's been on form. I'm going to go for De Bruyne there. And then 10 games, total number of goals scored. Believe it or not, Marty, I think two people have gotten it this season, spot on. Uh, it's a bit difficult with the games getting postponed sometimes, but I'm going to go for 30 goals. I'm going to go for 33. 33. Awesome, man. Thank you very much for coming on. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Awesome. Let's let let's hope I do beat him like I did uh, with um, James and Tess. Let's hope he doesn't. Uh, we, we, I did with Robes and Tess. James absolutely smashed me. Let's hope he doesn't do the same with me. Um, those are your predictions. Let us know your predictions in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Keep staying safe, and I'll catch up with you guys soon.